Hey guys, Peluji here and in this video we're going to create uh, these three iOS screens in Figma. We're also going to leverage an amazing illustration kit and just before we get started I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design where I'm sharing my over eight years of experience and uh, basically all the information is needed in order to get started in a fast and efficient way as well as free source files included in the tutorials. So feel free to check it out and let's get started. All right, so let's get started. And the very first thing we're going to do is to actually add a iPhone 11 frame and we're going to double click on the name and we're going to rename it to one. And now let's go ahead and add some logo text. So this is going to be the very top logo for this uh, introductory screen of the app. Now we're going to use Montserrat for this uh, specific uh, example, which is a free Google web font, which you can download directly from the Google web website. <laughs> and uh, let's go over here and uh, let's write, uh, hi Matt, or actually let's write welcome and let's uh, center all of this. Now we're going to duplicate this by using shift plus option key and uh, let's make uh, this uh, smaller. And we're going to write some introductory text, text uh, such as uh, you're now ready to experience our amazing features. And uh, as you can see, we have this uh, text uh, set up right now. So let's center this and let's increase also the line height just a little bit. We're going to make this uh, probably actually instead of medium, let's make it light. So we have a little bit of more um, light uh, feeling uh, on it. So let's uh, go over here and let's uh, add uh, a rectangle below, which is going to be our next button essentially. That's going to help us to go to the very next screen. So pretty straightforward. And uh, let's write next over here. We're going to make this uh, white and we're going to make uh, the color of this button black. Now let's make uh, the next button um, semi-bold. Let's increase the size just a little bit and let's bring it up uh, just a notch. All right, this is uh, starting to take shape <clears throat> and uh, we're also going to add uh, a rectangle on the top section bring this below and uh, there we go. Let's also add some dots here and there. And these are going to essentially notify the user as to where they are in the app. So that's going to be useful. And let's make these uh, in a blue color. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to leverage an amazing illustration. Oops. <laughs> we're going to leverage an amazing illustration kit from, uh, um, I don't know <clears throat> exactly how to spell the name and so Hoshi, I really hope it was right, but basically an illustration kit, which I recently saw in UI8 for e-commerce It looks amazing. And, uh, I'm going to link the leave the link in the description. And um, yeah, we're going to give it a shot. So I'm opening here the PNG version of this. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to change it from columns to gallery so we can easily see in the illustrations that we have at our disposal. Now, as you can see, they have uh, a very specific illustration type, which uh, I really like a lot. I think these illustrations are pretty good. And uh, let's, uh, let's leverage this one. So I'm just going to drag and drop this illustration directly here. And uh, as you can see, it's adding a, a really nice style to the overall app feeling. So this is pretty cool. And uh, let's go ahead and maybe let's uh, go with a yellow like in uh, the preview, which I saw, which looked uh, really, really cool. I'm going to increase uh, the opacity of this uh, all the way up. And uh, maybe let's uh, 
tone down the tonality just a little bit so that we have something around the, these lines. All right, so far so good. This is pretty interesting as we're looking at it. And let's change also the background color just to give it a little bit of a different feeling and uh, just make it uh, lighter on the design uh, um, as a whole. Now let's probably make the this one uh, semi-bold and let's uh, center it right here. All right, so far so good and uh, let's go over here and let's uh, change the opacity of these. I like the, the contrast between the yellow and the blue. It's uh, warm and uh, cold colors. So I think this is looking uh, pretty cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a second screen, which is going to have uh, a few options uh, at our disposal. Maybe let's try and just make this one um, dark and uh, let's write here the two of uh, 23 and let's bring it right here and uh, let's add uh, a big uh, screen which is going to be the overview All right, let's make this one even bigger and uh, maybe let's just keep it, uh, yeah, let's keep it like like it is for now. And uh, we're going to use a regular, or actually the light for this font right here. And we're going to add uh, the a button on the top. So, right here start let's make this one smaller and let's uh, center it all all right so far so good now let's add another call to action which is going to be to watch uh, or actually play video and let's bring it uh, right here on the very right Going to make this button a secondary button so it's not going to be as big and uh, let's just bring all of this uh, on the side maybe this one is going to be just a bit smaller compared to the main call to action which is going to be start all right so we're doing uh, we're moving on pretty well and uh, now I'm going to leverage nuclear icons uh, in order to add uh, a arrow into the mix. So let's write here arrow and uh, let's add uh, this arrow on top of this section. Now I'm going to rotate it if uh, Figma allows me to. And uh, we're going to make it just a bit bigger bring it all the way to the top and uh, let's also make this one medium all right time to add a other illustration so what's going to be a good illustration for this specific case let's find out uh, right now so this one's looking pretty cool so let's go ahead and actually I want the PNG version with the transparent background. So, hmm, what can we do over here? Actually, let's let's see and if this is working still. I mean, it's, it's not really that bad, so we can definitely um, make it work in this context. So let's just bring it over here. Let's move it all the way to the top. And now let's start adding some of the other design elements. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to add some uh, rounded borders. So going to add the drop shadow, make this one white. Let's add uh, a bit of a blur when it comes to this section right here. Let's also decrease uh, 
the shadow just a little bit and uh, let's start adding some uh, text over here so this is going to be the primary level let's make this one a little bit smaller so we have primary level right here and now we want to add some sort of illustration so we're going to add this t-shirt illustration right here there we go Maybe let's make it just a bit smaller <clears throat> when it comes to the vertical height so we have a primary level right here and now we're going to add some other elements uh, in just a moment so let's try and just get rid of all this uh, for the time being and let's just add a few more so we're going to have secondary tertiary then we're going to have settings or actually last one <laughs> let's just let's just write it like it is and uh, let's use some other icons for this specific uh, one so let's bring it right here there we go and uh, now let's add some uh, other elements which uh, one of which is going to be this one let's make it smaller and there we go and let's add the very last illustration in the composition which is going to be this one right here all right looking pretty good so far and uh, now let's move on to the very last screen which uh, we're going to duplicate from this space that we have going on and uh, yeah actually one last thing that we're gonna do in, in the other one is just to add some sort of alert notification element just to add a bit of variety in the previous composition so let's change the fill let's maybe go with something around uh, these lines and uh, yeah that'll do all right now let's move on and let's uh, write the headline so this is a new beginning let's center it and what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate also this text right here let's bring it up we're going to change this uh, to medium I have absolutely no idea how to spell this word <laughs> so bring this one let's make it just full full height let's lock it and uh, we're going to add some sort of a illustration as we previously had going on so let's try and see which one of these could actually work well in the specific context and 
maybe this one right here, or also this one. This one is pretty interesting. So let's go with this one. All right. Bring this one up again. We're going to write uh, watch uh, video. Here is uh, how much the video is going to last. And let's uh, also add some other icons. So the very first one is going to be the video icon. And let's find uh, an icon that could work uh, well. This one here, I think, will do the job. Make it uh, dark. Uh, let's bring all of this uh, on the right. And the second one is going to be a settings icon, which we're going to add uh, at the very top. And there we go. So one off video. Let's just add some smaller text here below. And uh, that should uh, pretty much uh, do for our new screen. All right, so this is pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I want to remind you that on my YouTube channel, I have uh, many, many, uh, over 400 videos on UI UX uh, and uh, um, also web design. And uh, these are covering both software tutorials and also other type of uh, videos, such as how to get started freelancing. And I myself have been a UI UX designer for over eight years. so. Basically, if you're interested in learning more about this, uh, feel free to check out my channel and I'll see you in the next video.